now boarding Starbase Summary. Please stand clear of the doors. I, I always feel like I need some sort of like intro. <laughs> it's just this guy starts talking in the video all of a sudden, and you have no clue why. Uh, it's another Starbase Summary. We're looking at what's going on down there. It's Starbase, and here you can see cutting torches, cutting apart the pieces on the top of the original high bay. I guess it is the original high bay there, but uh, <laughs> you saw at the very beginning the overhead work signs, and they are literally just cutting pieces apart, attaching them to the crane, and then letting them down one piece at a time. There you can see the crane up there, and uh, maybe we're going to see a piece come off. All the windows on the right-hand side there are off, and then the windows on the left-hand side are still there. Yeah, here you go. We've got the crane attached. We've literally just taken a cutting torch to the whole thing, steel beams included, nice and balanced, and we're just going to just put that on the ground. Now I, this all has to be going to, like, a scrap recycling place or something like that, right? They even, there's little safety flags on it still. They just left that attached. Um, I really do wonder, like, certainly are there... They're not going to use this as a, another smaller building somewhere else. I mean, look, it's like the whole thing. It's the, the bolts and the girders and everything, and it's just like roughly cut across the bottom. I really wonder what they're going to do with this stuff. Also, interestingly there, the roof was a little sloped. Did you see that? I never really knew. I guess I could have assumed, but I never knew that the roof was sloped like that, and uh, you can see a little bit of a slope, which makes sense. makes it easier to uh, not have water puddling on top of the thing but in any event uh, we are running a time lapse of this we have a couple cameras sort of er, er, locked off i guess you could say and we're going to try to do a whole however long it takes weeks long months long time lapse of the deconstruction of the high bay and then the reconstruction of the giga bay I don't think I, did i say mega bay earlier anyways reconstruction of the giga bay in its place but we're watching What's going on, as we tend to do out at Starbase? A little bit of windy there. You can see the Stargate building. It says Stargate on the building right underneath the flag. And the wind blowing like crazy. Oh, well, thank you. We've zoomed in on Stargaze. That was the original building there. Before there was anything else SpaceX related, that Stargate building, I can't tell you off the top of the head what it stands for, but it was a UT RGV, University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. It was like a radio... Radio astronomy, radio research, something about radios in space, if I remember correctly. Correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments. But that building was always there. Putting up some cameras and an interesting PTZ camera there on the corner. Looks like it has an illuminator and then the regular camera spot. That mural kicking along. There's that old HLS mock-up nose cone. We know because at some point there were some labels on it that says HLS sort of stuff. Kicking it over towards Pad B's launch mount. Manifold mostly plumbed in there on the side. Still a lot of work to do because that water has to come out somewhere. You see how the edge of those plates, you still see the cavities there, right? So how is that going to work? Is that going to be sealed off so water comes out the top of the plate? Uh, is water just flowing through the plate? not quite done with this thing here yet but we check in just about every single video to see what's going on hey look it's ir gas apparently uh air gas missing a logo P piece of the air gas logo there and here we're carrying it up the road we filled it up and maybe we're taking that up to the production site this one's prax air look they're making our world more productive these are gas tanks leaving the launch site. That says asphyxiation hazard, cryogenic hazard, I think was the other one there. I don't see any uh, labels. You could look up what it was in it, if there was a number label or something. I don't know if it's going to be visible on here anywhere. I didn't see the labels. Oh, that's green on the end. I don't know if I should read too much into that. What do y'all think was in there? Was there a label I just didn't see in real time? Uh, asphyxiation hazard means that it can displace oxygen, I guess is the simplest explanation. You may be there, you may be breathing it in, you don't really know because you're able to breathe just fine. Like mechanically, it feels like air is coming into your lungs, but what you're breathing isn't actually containing enough oxygen to keep you going so you can asphyxiate. You feel like you're breathing just fine and you're just not getting any oxygen because it's different gases. But anyways, over here, working on the tower again. Excavator doing excavation work. 
Got some cutting there that looks like. Are we welding something together? I feel like there should be a way to to notice. That's I think they're welding the end. There. Alright, he's he's scraping afterwards. She's taking the scale off the weld afterwards. So that looked, I think, like a weld. You, know, you glance, and if you go back and look at it again, you're like, oh, well, obviously it was this. It was cutting. There would be sparks flying. Hey, remember, it's stream of consciousness. I'm just watching this and telling you what I think. Like, that skid steer going past really fast. They've got a lot of those red actuators in there now. Well, look at that. That was like a pan down the whole side. Still some blinds up there, those SpaceX branded blinds. So that is likely going to get plumbed in as well. Look at the size of those pipes. And that's an expansion joint sort of thing. You see the, the slinky, crinkly bit there to the right-hand side of the huge flange? No kidding. Once again, I just love seeing this stuff. But here's some chopstick testing that's going to be happening. Just, you know, put your right stick in, you put your right stick out. You put your right stick in, and apparently you pivot it all about. Here, making sure they're not catching and the range of motion is as, wow, as anticipated. Look at that coming in. That was on the Starbase live cameras. There's a bunch of big severe weather alerts down there in South Texas. Some places getting uh, 10 plus inches of rain the last couple days. It is soggy down there. I know a lot of people were asking for this as well, some more shots of the construction. This is actually between the production site and Massey's. Closer to the production site, but these buildings here that they are building, they're not like right next to the production site. They're sort of across the way, maybe a mile away over on the Rio Grande and uh, a lot of people needed some context as to where that was. So if you're leaving Starbase and you're driving back towards Brownsville, those buildings, those structures they're working on are on the left-hand side of the road with the production site behind you. More shots from Mary here. You can see that it rained a lot. Look at all the water down on the ground. But continuing to work on that pad B launch mount. Just really curious how all of this is going to come together. But every day, seeing more and more progress on the joints and wells and some work happening up on top there, it looks like. You know, I just realized I've never sneezed during one of these. I'm about to. I don't think I will. I think it's good. We're good. Oh, look, there's the rocket garden, but there's also a Starlink uplink. You see the building with the bumps on top? That's like a Starlink ground station. Those are actually uh, domes. That's what the Starlink satellites talk to uh, to get you on the Internet. Like your little dish talks to the Starlink satellite going past. The satellite talks down to one of those uplink ground stations. They have one there at the production. or Yeah, that's a production site, like the assembly yard. Some transport stands moving around. There's the flown boosters at the Rocket Garden. Look at God. That one, it took a little bit more on the side there. I wonder, that's got to be the way that it sort of, it, it, you know, when they separate, they do the hot staging, and then they sort of pivot away, and one side gets a little toastier than the other. You can really sort of see it there on the top of that booster. Another shot of the Stargate building with its cool little entrance. Stand moved outside Mega Bay 1. Cool. There it is. There's the stand. Moves out outside of Mega Bay 1. Sometimes a good indication that they're getting ready to move something around, right? So we watch the movement of those stands. Because if there's a booster that we think is mostly complete in a Mega Bay, and then we see a stand, a transport stand going to the Mega Bay, that's a good sign that maybe that booster is going to come, I don't know, out of the Mega Bay shortly. And it's possible that it could end up uh, places where it gets tested. Will it go all the way to the launch site? And will it get static fire tested? I guess we will wait and see where that actually ends up. But that's the importance. The reason there's video footage of a stand being moved is because that is a good indicator that something that the stand carries may be moving soon. I know I'm talking about the previous topic as we watch the uh, continued cutting on the high bay here. What more is there to really say? They are cutting the top off the high bay one piece at a time and it didn't cost them a dime if you put it in the back of your cadillac you can actually take it home and you could reassemble a high bay for free uh if you take it home one piece at a time i am seriously dating myself there <laughs> 
please back me up down in the comments if you have any clue what I'm talking about. Look at the erosion on the beach. Wow, not only the seaweed, but you see the shelf there? That is storm erosion on the beach. That makes it really tough to get up the beach. There's the launch site, but in the foreground, there's that turning circle. You sort of see the widened area there. A lot of people in the comments guessing that the turning circle might be for trucks to turn around. I don't know if you've ever seen a, a tractor trailer semi truck like the space shuttle truck backing up there try to go around a turning circle. But the way the trucks work, the, the tires don't follow each other's tracks. The tires actually try to cut the corner as you turn uh, tighter corners. And so that's why they have like, you know, trucks turn wide if you're ever turning a right hand turn in a truck. You have to swing to the left a little bit to get room so you don't hit the street sign or whatever on the corner. So I really don't think that that's going to be particularly useful unless it turns out being a lot bigger than I think it is uh, for trucks, like the, the cryo trucks to actually turn around down there. We'll see, though. Maybe I'll be wrong. That was the arm up there. On Are those pipes frosty right now? Is that what we were looking at? I don't think I saw that in the label, but they looked very white. Was that insulation or was that frost? You know... I know there was a bunch of testing going. I don't think that was testing. Maybe that was just clean insulation or something. I'll check in. And next time we see it, we'll be like, oh, yeah, remember last video when we talked about this? Just a lot of different shots of the work that's happening here around the launch pads. Sometimes it's just shots of work. There's not anything specific to show in every single shot. We're just sort of giving these wide context shots. And if y'all see something, I don't. Remember, I'm not trying to sit here and spend four hours analyzing every bolt that's changed since the previous uh, video. We do this a couple times a week. We just watch the room and we just talk about what we see. But that's what it is. It's the Starbase Summary. My name's John. In the real world, if I reply, reply to you down in the comments, you may see me as Das. We have been having commentary from Alex in Spanish the last couple days, and Adrian's been on the road, uh, in the field, on assignment, not a lot of opportunities to record. But in any event, appreciate you watching, and we will catch you nerds later.